Heapshits underscore studio is now live. Streaming The Witcher 3, Wild Hunt, Witcher 3 on Ultra HD PC. What happened here? Oh, got a wee bit chilly the night, so I set fire to my forge. Got a nice and roaring. Roasted some wieners. What do you think happened, dimwit? Some bugger set a light me, me workshop. I've lost everything. Everything! Sorry. Any suspects? Whole damned village. I've lived here half a century. Thought they saw me as one of their own. But everything changed when the Black Ones came. I'm the only smith around, so I got to service their garrison. Bang dents out of plate, shoe horses. That sort of thing. Nilf guardians don't pay me a bloody copper. Just give me supplies and orders. The humans can't fathom that. They think I'm getting rich off their misfortune. That I sleep on a pile of gold like a plowing dragon. They've stopped talking to me. Spit when I pass. And now this. I can find your arsonist, provided you're willing to pay. <sighs> I've not much left, but I'll give you all if you bring me that horse in, so that he gets what he deserves. The night of the fire, I heard movement outside my hut. Went out to see if I could find any tracks. Nothing. But then I haven't got cat eyes, have I? Good luck. Where is Elsa get her coin, I ask? She gave tail the blackens, I'm telling you. You took bigger bollocks than a new rights uniform. Damn deer, stripped the bark off the trees again.
Philippines court has not yet entertained arguments of strange phrases. Yeah, what things? I don't know if I've said it once, but all in one big ass. Like eggs and milk. They're just like eggs. They grind and preserve the other. Keep going and feel the taste. Go, go. Giddy up. Slow now. Let's go! Lost your key, ma'am? No, not me key. Me pan. It always sat there empty. This hurt, that is, till the night afore the battle. A man arrived. Walked right in like to his own. Standing at the window, peering at the goings on. Must have been. Cause next I knew, there he was, coming my way. So, I grabbed me pan for protection, see? But he just asks all polite. Gran, got any birch bark by chance? Lilac berries or even a few coals? Nay, says I. And you must be right daft to pester folk at night with such foolery. And he says he ain't listening, just staring at me pan like a magpie at a copper. Lend it to me, Gran. I'll give it back come morn. He's right baffled for what's he doing, frying in the dark. But I've got a soft heart, so I gave it to him. Fascinating story. Any chance you're nearing the end? Afore dawn, another rode up to the hut. But come on, only the first fella left. Locked the door, hopped on his horse, and that were all I saw of him. And me pan. Twere old, black with soot, not worth much, I suppose. But I've no other. Will you help me, dearie? Bring an old widow or a pan. I could never break down that door myself. And in truth, I'm afeard to go in any road. Such a stench wafting out. Methinks the other fellow. Well, that he's lying there. Never taken on a pan contract. Fine, I'll go in, look around. You should wait here. Just in case.
sunglasses come outside because uh, the sun changes the glasses to pink. Ooh, more dogs. A corpse explains the stench. Act monocle. Interesting. What's that, dearie? Nothing. Nothing. His throat. He was garroted. And some old scars. Kind of soldier might have. But when I gab to myself, they say I'm going for me. Ah, the priceless frying pan. Hmm, <laughs> scrubbed clean. Looks like the mystery man didn't need the pan so much as the soot off it to make ink write letters. Almost entirely burnt. A few pieces still legible. Found the pan, have you? Here, your frying pan. Mine? But mine were black with soot. And I could see myself in this one if I wanted. But them years are past. It was the soot the man needed. He scraped it off to make ink. Must have had an urgent letter to write. Urgently burned some other documents, too. And... And the other fellow? Dead. Round up a few boys and bury him outside the village. Deep, so the necrophages don't dig him up. And take my advice. Don't mention this to the Nilf Guardians. Hang about! You've earned a token of thanks. Leave some for the Lord. Nice white fish for some. Or a pipe. Gilly up. Faster. Who knows what the morrow will bring? Whoa there, Roach.
things from a tinder box. Arsonist must have lit his torch here, tossed it on the roof, then fled through the orchard. Footprints. A man's. Large. Stinks of piss and vodka. Stinks of piss and vodka. Water. Ah. Oh. Took off his boots and went in the water. Probably wanted to cover his trail. Thank you for following Omar underscore 511A. Someone's doing 4K finally. Decide. Should we draw it or no? I need to seek out something. But Tosby said he'd not give his dog this water. It was so neat to call it. Sure. It still looks nice bad, eh? Yeah. It's not bad. It's not bad. I will say sorry. Is it because you're playing on wide monitor? We have much work to do here. Quite a lot. And ye, could ye deliver us from evil? You're strange, huh? but a good fella nonetheless. Something jumped out of the rushes. Drowners. But he managed to escape. Lost his boots in the rush. Tracks lead back to the village. Bleeding, but not badly. Surface wound. Gran told me about the Smith boy. Lad went missing one day, so folk nabbed a witchman that was hunting nearby. Hey. Started poking him, asking. Well, he started twisting and squirming, so wham, bam, they knocked his head off. Aye, so it were. Except it was some drowner that had sucked on the kid. 
Witcher had naught to do with it. What did the folk do? Trail ends here, but I'll recognize him by his wounds. It's gotta be him. Nasty wound. Run into a drowner? What the fuck do you care? Whoa, our arsonist's a charmer too. Come on, Smith wants to talk to you. I ought talk to a non-human. Sons of bitches all, and dwarves are the worst. Greedy little magpies do anything for gold they will. <laughs> they forge the blades the black ones put to our throats. Am I not right? Listen, we can work this out man to man. I give you gold, you don't turn me in. My mum died a while back and I sold her tools. I've spent some, but what's left is yours. Magpies and dwarves might be greedy, but I'm not. Can't buy me. Then I'll... Beat your fucking mug to a pulp! <laughs> See you with him again, and you'll regret it. Think you've got it tough. With the roof over your head, that's something. If this was any of us, they'd siege to his ear. Oh, I didn't need to wait on him. I didn't need to wait on him. Up and at him. Hmm? Oh. What? what? What's going on? Here you go. One village pyromaniac in the flesh. Nap! You! I knew your mum for years. Charged her nary a copper. This is how you repay me. I've had enough. Hey, soldier. A minute of your time, please. No! Willis, I beg you. I, 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 I was drunk. Didn't know what I was doing. I've told you, Master Willis. We will help you rebuild once reinforcements come. The supplies have been ordered. Not what this is about, mate. This here's the arsonist. A witcher found him. The forge was important to the garrison. Destroying it was sabotage. No trial needed here. Just a tree.
Harsh as punishment goes. But deserved. You know, I hated the Black Ones at first, like everybody else did. Now I'm thinking they might just bring order to this place. Teach these layabouts some manners. But enough about that. Your reward. And I managed to save some things from the fire. Anvil still holds, so I'm sure I can bang something out on it. You need anything, let me know. Give you a good price. Run, Roach. Don't you look at me.
We have much work to do. Quite a lot. Go, go. The Emperor shall guide us straight to Novigrad. Hey. Discipline. That is what you folk lack. Military camp. No locals allowed without the express consent of the garrison commander. I look like a local to you. You look like trouble. Dead wrong. I make trouble go away. I'm a witcher. A witcher? Captain Peter Sugwin Levy is in the tower. Turn right, past the gate. Guessing your captain's got work for me. This is the army, Nordling. There is no guessing. To the tower. Go. We must requisition a share of your harvest. I know there is little left in your granaries. But soldiers are men too, and so they must eat, correct? Password. Don't know any. So, out for a little walk, eh? Counting the Emperor's swords to lull you to sleep? Well, in the army, we've a place for nosy ramblers. The scaffold. And thick skulled quartermasters, they got a place. <laughs> uh, you're clearly skilled at banter. And haggling? You got a knack for that as well. Show me what you're peddling. I'd like you to craft something for me. So long.
How much grain will your village give? Whatever you say, Your Excellency. Look at my hands. Look. See the calluses? These are not the hands of an Excellency, but of a farmer. So we speak peasant to peasant. How much can you give? Forty bushels. There'd be more, sir, but our lads, the Temerians, that is, took from us earlier and... You will give thirty, and that will do. Let us settle on it, and I wish to see the transport soon. Oh, thank you, sir. Thank you kindly. I summoned only the Elderman and the Smith, Willis. But it is said he is a dwarf. You are too tall to be him. Very perceptive of you. Geralt of Rivia, Witcher. Vatgarn. This explains why I did not hear your footsteps. What do you seek here? Yennefer of Vengerberg. Where was she headed? That is a military secret. Haven't thrown me out yet. Haven't called the guards. So go ahead. What's your price? There is a griffin in the area. Slay it. And then I shall see what I can do. Why do you care about this griffin? Because I care about people. The beast has killed ten already, including a few of my men. To hunt it, I would need to mobilize the entire garrison, comb the woods, organize a batu. Simply impossible. Too big a hassle? No. Too high a risk. I cannot disperse my forces. Temeria's army we have crushed, but its common folk remain. Ready to answer a call to arms. So, as to this griffin, I can sit on my hands or hire a professional. It's a deal. Some questions before I start. Know where the griffin has its lair? It kept to the Vulpine Woods at first. I sent a patrol there, five young men. A hunter found them two days on. They only recognized them because they wore our plate. Since then, the griffin has grown bold. Attacks in villages, fields, on the main road. Meaning it's abandoned its lair. Gonna have to set a trap. I judge from your tone this will not be easy. What do you require? Need more information about this griffin, its sex, why it's abandoned its lair. Shall I bring you witnesses? They won't say anything I don't already know. I need to go where your men died, look around. What's the name of the hunter who found them? Mizlov. He has a hut south of the village, very near the wood. Helpful fellow. A little strange, though. I'll need bait, a specific herb, buckthorn. Scent should lure the griffin from ten miles off. Buck... Buckthorn? I do not know this. But I am not yet fluent in the common tongue. Mm -hmm. Probably mastered the basics, though. Hands up. Kill them. No. First came idioms. Don't play with fire, for example. Go to Tomira, an herbalist. She lives near the crossroads. She will aid you. Tamira and Mislav. Thanks. Es soon the actor.
you need to get something to eat. I guess I am going to be back in uh, like an hour, two hours, I'll be back.